joined now from Beijing by Ma Tianji, China's Dialogue Managing Editor. China has decided to draw red lines declaring certain regions under mandatory and rigorous protection. What steps are being taken to protect them? Uh, the, I, I think the, the, the Saihan Ba Forest is really the symbol of uh, massive afforestation efforts uh, of China in the past few decades in, in order to combat desertification uh, and soil ero erosion uh, in the region. And through that effort, we have seen uh, from data that uh, the notorious sandstorm that hits North China uh, has been gradually decreasing. And this is really the significance of this kind of efforts in the past few decades. How effective have they been? Uh, from the data uh, and monitoring uh, from the government, we have seen that um, sandstorms hitting uh, uh, Beijing, for example, every uh, springtime has been gradually decreasing. But there are also uh, differences in the effectiveness of these efforts. Uh, we're seeing, for example, in northeastern part of China, the afforestation efforts are generally more successful uh, than uh, western part of the China. So I think there are still improvements uh, that, that's are, that are needed. The Saihanba Forest is China's shining example of reforestation and a symbol of China's progress. Tell us what other areas are being protected? Uh, the other areas that are, uh, China is making significant improvement and progress is climate change and air pollution. Uh, in the past few years, we have seen that um, because of the, 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 the pledge made by the central government, to combat climate change and to reduce the country's carbon footprint, uh, we're seeing the consumption of coal uh, being reduced uh, in, a, in, a, in a historic uh, event uh, that are seeing that China probably peaking coal consumption uh, as, as early as three years ago. And we're also seeing uh, air pollution situations in North China gradually improving uh, in, the, in the past few years. China has introduced action plans to fight air, water, and soil pollution and rolled out its harshest ever environmental protection law. What will the enforcement of this law look like? Uh, I think the, the, the importance is that the, the Chinese government and uh, the, the pollution regulators uh, should look, really look at re, uh, enforcing these measures and also uh, follow uh, scientific guidelines when they're enforcing, for example, ecological red lines uh, that bars uh, industrial developments in certain protected areas. Uh, in the past, we have seen, uh, we have seen that certain efforts uh, are being guided, uh, are being misguided uh, by, by certain methods, for example, uh, promoting monoculture uh, in the afforestation efforts. Uh, and these measures are now being reviewed and being, uh, being improved. Uh, by emphasizing more biodiversity uh, in those afforestation uh, efforts. So I think science uh, should definitely be uh, at the center uh, of uh, China's uh, ecological preservation efforts. Ma Tianji, live in Beijing. Thank you.